Hey, and welcome to AudioTech's extra tutorial on editing audio clips in Cubase 6.5. Let me quickly add a few things I forgot in the previous tutorial. For this, I'm going to be using the object selection tool. When you click and drag on any audio clip, you can move it around your project. Pressing Alt while clicking and dragging lets you copy a clip. Let's try first moving a clip and then copying it. Check out what happens with the ALT key pressed as well. I'm gonna go ahead and select this clip. I'm pressing ALT while clicking. And while I'm keeping both keys pressed down, I'll drag it to another location and release the mouse. See how a new copy has been created. Holding SHIFT down while clicking with the object selection tool lets you make a quick window selection of one or more clips. I'm now going to hold down SHIFT, click and drag to window select those two clips. And this is similar to the range selection tool, however this one will snap to full audio clips and not only what's inside the selection. Here's a very important one. If you hold down CONTROL while clicking on the clip, you can now drag the clip to another track while still keeping the position intact. Without this one you'd need to zoom in uh, a lot to ensure that the clip would keep the same location. Say for instance you recorded something on the wrong track and you wanted to move it to another while still keeping it on the exact same position in the timeline. You could easily do this with the control clicking and dragging. And the alt click shortcut for creating copies I just showed you can also be used in conjunction with the control click shortcut for moving clips to another track for creating a copy uh, on the exact same position. To do this, press Ctrl Shift plus Alt and click and drag. Let me show you. You wouldn't believe how many times I would love to have known about those shortcuts. So write them down and hang them on your wall. Now let me sum this up. Here are some very important shortcuts with the object selection tool selected. Ctrl and click and drag when you want to move a clip to another track in the exact same timeline position. Alt, click and drag when you want to create a copy of an audio clip. Control Shift Alt, click and drag when you want to create a copy of a clip to another track in the exact same timeline position. And then finally, Shift, click and drag to make a window selection of audio clips. And then on to another thing I didn't mention in the previous tutorial. I told you about the zoom tool in the top bar. But honestly, you'll never really be using it if you know those two better ways of zooming. First off, you can zoom by clicking and dragging in the timeline. Let me show you. I'm now gonna click above the place I want to zoom in on. I'm now gonna either drag down to zoom in or drag up to zoom out. And while holding my mouse down, I can still drag either left or right to change my position. So let's try one more time with the timeline zoom. I'll click. And then I'm gonna drag my cursor to the right, and then I'm gonna drag it down to zoom in. And this might be the way you will be zooming most often. I've gotten used to just use some quick and easy zoom in or out shortcuts, and I'm using them all the time. For each time you press your shortcut for zooming in, it will zoom in just a bit. And think about it, we actually use zooming in and out all the time. So uh, here's how you can change it. Open the file menu and then select key commands. It's in the bottom. Now click in the search field and type zoom in. When it shows up, simply type in your preferred key for zooming in and click assign. Mine is set to T. Now click in the search field again and type zoom out. And you can see there are some options in the list, so just click on zoom out in the list and assign your preferred key. Mine is R. Alright, simply press OK to apply it. And only one more last thing before you move on. With either tool selected, if you press and hold the middle mouse button, the one you scroll with, notice how the mouse icon changes to a uh, hand. And if you move around with this uh, selected, this will pan around your project. So it might be the best and easiest way to go. Uh, navigate your view in the project. 
Okay, now I can move on with a safe feeling that you'll be ready to rock with basic navigation and basic audio clip editing in Cubase. So thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next one.